Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here with another episode of Kerbal Space Program 1.2 Career Mode for Beginners. When we last left off, we rescued a intrepid astronaut from orbit who is incredibly stupid, but is a Star One pilot, so no worries. We also picked up a few contracts here, specifically this one here that I prepared for, position a satellite in Colnea orbit around Menmus. So if we look at our tracking station here, and we go to Minmus, and we zoom in, we see the orbit that they want this satellite. Uh, they want it to be in a 9300 by 397,000 orbit. It needs to be on this particular inclination, and more importantly, it needs to be orbiting this way. So we need to be mindful of that as we approach Minmus. I have a rocket here that will do the work for us. Let me load it up here. I called it the Minma Satellite. Minma Satellite. So it is an orange tank. It's four of these uh, T-800s uh, with some Separatrons. Our satellite here, according to the uh, log, has to be an unmanned probe that has an antenna. So I have a relay up here that can generate power. I have an, a battery and some solar panels over here. We reach the orbit, it needs to have an accelerometer, which makes no sense, has mystery goo, which it does, and is stable. So let's go ahead and launch and head to Minmus. What we need to do is, in order to uh, simplify this, we need to look at our map and set Minmus as our target. And then we need to launch when its orbit crosses the Kerbal Space Center, which looking at it is actually about now. Uh, because it rotates this way we need to launch east and a little bit north so in a north in east northeast direction so let's do that shall we and let's go let's tilt over to the east northeast more east than north uh but still a little bit um a little bit north so here we go let's pick up some speed i've got the skipper here which is really efficient uh, for this orange tank and I've got the swivel engines here which aren't as efficient but will help us turn uh, once we reach maximum dynamic pressure up there. Let's pick up some speed, help get this thing through. The separatrons will actually help uh, push these, uh, these, these tanks here off and away which is good because we don't want them smashing into our orange tank. All right, we're, we're really pounding the atmosphere now. Let's throttle down a bit until we push through uh, maximum dynamic pressure. And then once we push through that, we'll be able to throttle up again once more. And uh, we don't want to be going too awful low. We want to sort of maintain 45 degrees stability. Uh, control would be helpful for those sort of things. All right, there we go. We've got a nice steady climb before these burn out. Let's go full throttle. And there they go, Separatons fire. And we are free and clear of the uh, orange tank. And now it's sitting pretty stable on its own. Uh, it'll be even more stable as we exit the atmosphere. Let's go to the map view and check our inclination. We are 4.6 degrees and it looks like we're going a bit too high. So we will actually point in a more easterly direction and drop this until we hit zero. Once that hits zero, uh, we will point right at the thrust vector and keep our inclination nice and even. 2.2, one degree, less than, less than a degree now. That's good enough for government work. Let's just point on the orbital thrust vector here and off we go. We will stop it once it hits about 90,000 or so. We wanna be as fast as possible and clear it. Let's go ahead and set up our maneuver node to go full prograde. As you do. And we will circularize. Now the only downside of this particular rocket is the fact that um, this is a whole lot more heavy than our 
satellite is, so it doesn't want to rotate as well. Once we break 70,000 meters, we will pop the fairing by hitting the space bar that is next on this stage here. Cross the 70,000 mark, blow the fairing, and off that goes, and let's extend our solar panels so we can constantly start generating that electric charge. All right. This thing is unwieldy. So what, I, what I'll need to do is actually turn this thrust limiter right down to two. That way I can just give it a little thrust and let the gimbling engine sort of push us over. And then once we have some momentum, I'll cut the engine, get us back to full throttle and sort of let it set on this uh, maneuver node. We'll be using this engine to do the majority of the work for sure. Uh, once we s get into a circular orbit around Minmus, um, we can use this uh, just this satellite because we have an ant engine on there. It's not going to use uh, that much fuel at all. And why you no turn? Let's just crack, crack open the throttle a bit. It's almost time for us to burn full anyway. So once we get on that maneuver node, we'll open it up full power. And we will circularize. It may not be a total circle, but since we're uh, on plane, it really doesn't matter. As long as we don't come back into the atmosphere, all will be well. And we're just pushing this satellite, so it's not that big of a payload. See where we are? 91 by 84 with a 1.1 degree difference. Should be good for us. Let's actually see if we can catch Minmus on our ascending descending node. That way inclination would not even need to be a thing. There we go. Let's get our maneuver node up. Now I think what we need to do, and I'm not sure here, let me focus the view. Let's see. That's not bad. Uh, once we get, uh, we'll, we'll do this maneuver and then we'll actually come down the bottom side of the planet and see if we can fine tune that at all. But a 917 meter a second burn. Let's go ahead and thrust limit this down so I can turn, use the gimbal to our advantage. And then once we start going that direction, I'll kill the throttle go back up to full and then do the ye old time acceleration stop uh, whenever we need to and the marker is right on Minmus this uh, pink circle is actually Minmus because we've set it as our target so we're going to be essentially burning right towards it there we go let's pause the time acceleration let's just do a quick there we go, 27 seconds is more like it. Yeah, it puts us, uh, no. Oh, why you know? That's not even close. What in the world happened there? Oh, it's just uh, that finicky. Okay. Let's just burn minutely until we get our encounter. There we go. And now we see our trajectory. We're going to be slamming right into Minmus, it looks like. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get out of the sphere of influence here and uh, do some minor adjustments. Let's just warp to the outside so we can have some solar power. Let's bring it down just a touch. Down a touch more. Scoot this over just a tad. And that's going to be close. If we hit that maneuver dead on, we're going to be crossing the apoaps here 
then we just circularize and then we adjust our uh, plane change. 5.5 meters a second is all we need for that. How is things? All right, so we missed it just a bit. What we'll need to do is uh, bring it back to the left a touch. But it looks like our height is pretty much dead on. Come on, maneuver node. There we go, add a maneuver. All right, so what we need to do in order to line this up, we need to come back in just a touch. Something like that is all we need, literally. That's all we need, 1.2 meters a second change. We overshot just a bit, but you know what? This should be fine. Um, our apoaps and periaps is pretty close, and we're going to be moving pretty slow at this point anyway, so we can do our plane adjustment there. All right, so let us move in, add a maneuver. We want to go full retrograde and pull this bad boy in. Actually, it might not be too bad to just sort of go circular for now. That way we can do our plane change at any point without really sacrificing a whole lot of speed, which seems sensible to me. Three point eight meters a second. So we're pretty well lined up and it says we're 25 degrees off and this is the ascending node. Over here is the descending node. So what I want to do now is I'm ready to cut the tether on this thing. Um, let us decouple. We'll just uh, let her float. And then right here at our descending node is where we want to do our plane change. Just, uh, nope, wrong way. Just sort of point it as best we can. That's looking pretty terrible if I must say so myself. Alright, let's line up the ascending and descending nodes. So there we go. That's actually where we need to make our plane change. Add a maneuver. Now let's pull our orbit around. Make sure that's lined up. Essentially do that. That should be pretty much on plane. 26 meter a second burn. I think we can live with that. Let's uh, warp to the next maneuver. Ascending node is zero. So now essentially all it is is bringing in our apoapsis and periapsis. Uh, our next opportunity to do that will be here. We'll add a maneuver and bring that right down to 9300 is what we need. Indeed, 9300 is what we are going for.
9316 will work for us just fine. All right, now we need to come over to our periapsis, try to be as bang on as possible, and then pull in our orbit once more. We are looking for a th uh, 397,000 apoapse. Three ninety four, something like that. Bam. Yeah, three point nine meter a second is all we need. Once we get to our periapsis, let's warp to our next maneuver. There we go. And as you can see, we have fulfilled the contract. Position a satellite in Colnia orbit around Mimis. We got 406,000 Kerbal bucks, 39 science, 39 reputation. While we're here, let's uh, rotate this thing to be facing out here. And let's see if we can do any science while we're here. I mean, we might as well. Can we do any seismic data? We cannot. Can we do a mystery goo from space here? Yeah, we can transmit for 24 science. Oh look, we need to do, uh, we actually need to bring something back for space near Mimis. Uh, but, I mean, we're here. You know what, I think, nah, that's fine. We'll just uh, transmit that data. The satellite is kicking in. And I believe all we need to do is time accelerate. It'll get up enough. Oh, really? It didn't get up enough charge to transmit? Don't. There we go. Transmit the data. Transmit all. There we go. It's uh, sending partial science. 60%. hundred percent. We are recharged. Excellent. So that is going to do it for me and this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Um, that is how to get a satellite around a body. So we'll see this guy probably when we land on Mimis again. But that will do it for me, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. And thank you so much for tuning in. Take care.